I've uh, got a container full of pins here, and I'm going to look at it for a few seconds, and I'm going to pull out this pin. Was a decision made? I'm not asking if I made a decision. I'm asking if a decision was made as to which pen was going to be plucked out of that container. Um, was a decision made? The question to me oftentimes of free will versus non-free will or free will versus determinism or whatever is poorly framed um, because it moves ahead of the discussion even before you, uh, you've you established if you ask me what you're talking about. Um, I might have taken this pen out of that container. I may have been determined to do so. It may have been an actual choice. Was a decision made? See, I can say that I might have been determined to make one decision over another. But that doesn't mean that I didn't make a decision, um, or that no decision was made, actually. Do I want to make a decision? Just because I can't make decisions that are non-determined doesn't mean that I don't want to make decisions, or that I don't want things. Before we can talk about free will or determinism, I think we have to establish, first of all, whether or not it's free if a will exists. Does the will exist? I don't have a strong position on this. It certainly looks as though the will does exist. Because even if, even like, say, determinists of a Darwinian type who say, well, you were willed, or you were, sorry, not willed, you were determined to act in that cer certain way because the end result is what is desired and you're being prodded along by uh, the causal chain, I guess. Or perhaps not even prodded along. It's just this is the way things have developed. This is just what's happening. That's fine, but it looks as though I desire things and that desire is being manipulated, even in a strictly Darwinian, deterministic universe. Um, I will things. I won't say that I will things that are not influenced by the outside, or that I have any choice over what I do will. But I do seem to will things. <laughs> 